Hey, I want to encourage you today. Do you know that the word says that God will never leave you nor forsake you? Growing up with a dad who was verbally abusive, always leaving me behind, always telling me he doesn't want anything to do with me, I really struggled with the revelation that is God maybe a little bit like my earthly father? Is he going to just get fed up? Is he just going to throw a tantrum and close the door and say, I don't want any more of this? So I really struggled with that. But Hebrews 13, 5, God says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And I remember just as a young Christian running to God saying, God, I've come to say goodbye. You know, rejection would make you want to say goodbye before they reject you, right? And I came to the Lord and said, I'm giving up. I'm the worst Christian I know. And literally, I remember this open vision. And in this vision, there's a great cloud of witnesses, Abraham, Isaac, Moses, the saints and the angels. And they had banners with my name on that said, go Lindy Ann. And I remember looking up off this muddy floor because I was then on a racetrack in this vision. And I saw this great cloud of witnesses and they were cheering, go Lindy Ann, go Lindy Ann. And God said to me, Lindy Ann, get up off the floor, keep running the race because all of heaven is cheering you on. I want to tell you, God's got your back. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He's got a blueprint of you in his book of life that he has written before the foundations of the earth were even laid. Hebrews 13, 5, he will never leave you nor forsake you. And I want to bless you with that right now. If you're struggling with that spirit of rejection, the fear of God may be leaving you and even how that manifests amongst our friends, right? And family members, etc. I want to just pray for that right now. Just put your hand on your heart. Father, I want to bless every single person who's struggling with that spirit of rejection. And I speak to that spirit now and I rebuke you. I command you to lose the children of the Lord and I release over you the spirit of adoption, the one that's cheering you on saying, that's my girl, that's my boy, that champions you, that knows you by name. Remember, never give up. All of heaven is cheering you on. Amen and amen.